This is Monday Motivation, episode number 216. Welcome to the Melissa Ambrosini Show. I'm your host, Melissa, best selling author of Mastering Your Mean Girl and Open Wide. And I'm here to remind you that love is sexy, healthy is liberating, and wealthy isn't a dirty word. Each week, I'll be getting up close and personal with thought leaders from around the globe, as well as your weekly dose of motivation so that you can create epic change in your own life and become the best version of yourself possible. Are you ready, beautiful? I just wanted to quickly remind you that if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app. Mine is Himalaya. For those of you that have not heard of Himalaya, it's an epic brand new podcast app which has so many awesome and unique features no other podcast app has, like episode and channel playlists. It's free, so easy to find new shows, and is really user-friendly. So head on over to the app or Google Play Store to download it today. Don't forget to follow me once you're done so that you can listen to my episodes one day earlier than they're usually released. Pretty cool, huh? Cultivate compassion. My intention is to live a judgment-free life. I want to not judge others or myself. But for most of my life, I have judged others. But now my intention is to cultivate compassion. It's not our role to judge others. Instead, we can look at all beings as sovereign beings who are on their own spiritual journey, having their own experience. Because they are, that's the truth. We must look at others with soft and compassionate eyes and a compassionate heart. Because truthfully, we have no idea what's going on for anyone else within them. We have no idea, and it's not our role to judge. We do not know what's going on inside for them. Having a soft and compassionate heart is something that we need to remind ourselves of daily. Maybe you can say a little prayer on the bus on the way to work, or in the shower in the morning. You could say something like, today, may I have an open heart and mind. May I look at all beings with soft and compassionate eyes. This is our true nature and you can do it. When we approach all people with this way, our relationships will flourish. They will grow. They will deepen, they will open, and they will evolve. And that's where the magic happens. Because the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. So today, start to cultivate compassion and look at everyone as sovereign beings who are on their own spiritual journey and keep that big, beautiful heart of yours open wide, soft and compassionate. 